at all. We very much mingle with each other, with the wider community and ourselves. And I think that is testament to the town and the history of the town. And I see this project as part of that, that it won't just benefit the Muslim community, but the wider community. And that's why it needs that support from every quarter of this community. Because when I was reading just some of the, the points uh, that I mentioned, and when I was speaking to Brother Zahid and Brother Iran and all the people who work for this project, that it, its aims are actually aims of every single person who offered, I think. Bringing people closer together, working together for the common good, absolutely. And that's why it needs all of our support. Some of us can support it financially, some of us can support it for other actions, and it's just not just a financial support, the effort, the fundraising effort, the voluntary contribution to this project is so important. And, you know, I'm here as uh, the first citizen, and uh, I was asked to come in and just say hello. And I think it's just more than just hello, it just shows the commitment that this town has to this project. And Peter, when he speaks, we talk about how the council can support this as well. But I think as a town, and me as representing that town, I think that's what uh, I'm here to do, to support that, and also my personal support. And more than all, I think, we can do today, and then Ron has a told me, is just to support this. If we know any people who are well off, let's knock on their doors. People who can help voluntarily for their time, Let's get them involved as well. And finally, before I end, I'd like to just congratulate some of the young people who are involved as well. Because this project shouldn't just involve, you know, people who are, you know, and that just it, it needs to involve young people too. And that's why, and that's how this project will move and motivate and action be going on for years and years together. والآخر دعونا والحمد لله رب العالمين في الكوش. Thank you very much, Mrs. Brown. Thank you for your kind words of support. Projects like this uh, don't just happen. Projects like this take an enormous amount of dedication. They take tenacity. They take perseverance, perspiration. They take a great deal of patience. The people I'd like to invite to the stage now are people who have been working on this project behind the scenes for many years. On days like today, we see their faces, they come up and tell us that we recognize their work. But there are many hundreds and often thousands of hours that go by late at night in their own time, sacrificing time with their families to try and make this vision into the reality that will be this fantastic Beacon Center. So please give a very, very warm welcome to the Chairman and the Secretary respectively, Zahid Sari and Imran Khan. Bismillah ar rahim uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, dear uh, respected elders, brothers and sisters, uh, Baroness, patron, Dorothy Thornhill, um, MP Dean Russell, uh, Mayor um, Peter, who's come today to join us as well, and uh, also um, Council and Chairman Asif uh, Khan. Thank you all for joining us here today in this dinner event, um, 2020, uh, What the Muslim News Centre Banquet. All praise and thanks uh, to Allah, the compassionate and the most merciful, for bringing us together today, uh, allowing us the achievements to date. I'd like to start by reflecting on the uh, past year and share with you the ongoing achievements. The Watford Muslim News Centre Trust team have delivered some lovely events with fundraising raised alongside. Uh, and to think that we're able to achieve this whilst we're still building the centre is pretty amazing. Um, I look forward to doing all these activities uh, thus far uh, once the centre is up and running. I pray that it become the hive uh, of enriching activities for us all, the young, uh, for old, uh, for Muslim and non-Muslim, inshallah. Uh, recently, we went to uh, Marrakesh. Um, 
I just heard from the event. So recently we went uh, to Marrakesh with a group of brothers, um, and they've been going for the last uh, three, four years. So uh, this year, uh, brother Dove, he pushed a few of us along as well. Um, and actually, I didn't realise how much of a challenge it really would be. Um, and I'll have to leave one thing I realised from it um, is that we really need to build on this year in year out. Uh, the amount of training that went into this. Uh, I started six weeks before um, and I managed to still finish it, um, even though I was crawling at the end. Um, but I think it could have just been a boys uh, holiday weekend out, but actually uh, we raised um, about 7,500 from that, so I think that's a really good return. Uh, I hope to do that. <laughs> I think uh, whilst I was running, I ended up actually running alone because uh, everybody was different places. It really did hit me that I thought, you know what, thanks to Allah uh, that I had that opportunity, um, not, not only to be out in Marrakesh, which has been a dream for years, but actually to make a difference towards the project and then some, some, some uh, funds. And that was again thanks to all those who sponsored myself and the other brothers. Um, just last Ramadan, we were actually blessed to do uh, first prayers on the land. Uh, it was such a blessing to actually be on the land, to have it in such a state that uh, we could pray there and we actually opened our hearts together. Uh, and our du'as of course were that Allah, please allow us to, to build on that du'a uh, and the events that we want to hold in the hallway. Uh, it really gave us a really nice feeling. Uh, I was really honoured to be able to continue that. Uh, it was really well attended. Uh, we had over 100 people on a building site. Uh, it was all very safe, very clean, um, and uh, yeah, it was amazing how it came together. Um, every fortnight, uh, we've been running uh, the 786 Club. This is uh, for our younger uh, children, uh, and effectively we're giving them sort of Islamic education, but also to give them Farbiya, uh, to give them some practical understanding of what it means to be a Muslim. Uh, this has been valuable for certainly those children, even my own children are living over there. Uh, but even for ourselves, those people that have been involved in helping to deliver this, uh, it really does give us uh, an input into what is needed out in the community. Um, and there's a lot of great things actually in the last five years that we've done through 76 Club. Uh, an example of practical activities, we're taking the kids out at Christmas to the hospital uh, and giving out presents to those kids that are actually you know, they're, they're not well, they're going to be stuck there over, the, over that time. Uh, they've been to the old people's home as well to spread a bit of cheer there. So you know, these are really practical things that we're doing on top of the Islamic education that we want to feel doing. Um, we also had a for the children as well. Um, and the highlight was, there's not a picture there, uh, there's a highlight which was like golfing and they really, really enjoyed that. Uh, first of all, I've been golfing as well in my 48 years, but uh, with the children, uh, they really, really loved it. Um, there's one other thing we did, there's a picture at the bottom right there. We took them to the Watford uh, Castle Park to the Peace Garden. Uh, that was a really lovely day. Watford Interfaith Association, who actually are responsible for the Peace Garden, uh, they made this a place that we can all go in with our respective face, uh, pray to God, um, or respective um, person to pray to. So essentially, uh, it's a place of peace and prayer. I suggest that you all take uh, time to go there the next time at Castle Park. Uh, we've also had some vigils for some of the events that have happened around the world. We've also been delivering ladies' activities. Uh, the sisters here have um, benefited from that. We had a sisters' bathroom to the toilet. Um, and on top of that, we also had the yearly job run, uh, where I know our sisters look forward to getting pampered, ready for the uh, youth festivals that uh, sort of follow that. Um, and I think we need to do more in terms of activities for our sisters uh, to allow them to get out uh, and actually to do some physical activities in particular. So this takes us to the last Ramadan. Um, we had a number of different functions. Um, well, we had the ones that went out daily to our community, uh, sending uh, the prayers for people to be able to recite in their daily uh, fasts. Um, and also the Jaga Rath, which I mentioned. Uh, and also we had a calendar which we pushed out across to the community. And this was to actually show us when we could open our files uh, throughout each day. 
Okay, so we're on to the runners. Uh, this last year we went to Scarborough Park. Uh, this is in a long run of mountain, uh, I'd say walks rather than climbs, uh, classed as pedal walking. Uh, and I think we've got a really nice strong group of brothers who go out year on year uh, to the peaks. Uh, I hope one day they can stretch outside of England and hit some of the other peaks around the world with each other. But they yeah, I think some of the brothers that have been over there, they've really never done anything like this actually, so it's been quite an experience for them. Uh, and I can say myself, I've done 